morning, everybody. It is Thursday night, and here we are, Thrifty Business with J and A. I'm your host, Vegas J. And I'm Philly A. What's happening, Nadine? How are you, my dear? I am not feeling so great tonight, so but I'm hanging in there right now. All right, so just so we're putting that on front street in case Nay needs to go somewhere. If I step why. off to the side, I might. Yeah, but I'm right now. I'm. All right, so let me do the heavy lifting, and you can just relax and be yourself and uh, just chill, you and your cat in the back there. So let's, uh, <laughs> as we jump off every show, let's get right to it without hesitation. That's, that would be me. I will fix that. There we go. All right. So we are doing the Jay's Tiki Talk. And let me tell you, it's kind of cool how this worked out this week. A um, couple things going on here. See all this rum behind me? I have some very nice friends. These were all gifts in the last week. Uh, this was from our good friends Robin and Jim. This is from these two are from my buddy Ed. This is my buddy Dwayne, and this is from my co-host Philly Nay. Gave me this bottle of Brugal. And so tonight, uh, Robin and Jim, I'll be drinking your Florida Kanye 18. So thank you very much for that. But what's even more amazing is. I wasn't sure which mug I was going to drink out of today, and then I got a little gift in the mail. And it comes with a note. So let me read the note first, and I'll show you the mug. Uh, and I'll give you the quick backstory. There was a person in a group named Herb. He had a tiki mug for sale. It's kind of boring. I had a cocktail stir that went with that mug, so I just sent it over to him. I said, here, put this with your mug. It'll help itself for probably a little bit better of a price. So he, he sent me a little package today. Jason, thanks so much for all the hard work and dedication. For those like myself who need guidance and direction occasionally, having a mentor like you is priceless. The fact that you took the time to send the cocktail stir proves your dedication to those around you in addition to your genuine caring to your genuine caring disposition. You had mentioned you somewhat like this homemade tiki mug a couple of months back due to the black and white coloring when I posted it within the group. Please accept this as a gift from me, eBay newbie Herb. So Herb and I are now friends for life. And this is the mug that Herb had found. And it is a hobbyist mug, but I liked it because if you remember last week, I said you don't see a lot of white mugs. Well, you never see white and black. And here's the actual mug. And this is a hobbyist. Well, this is probably a better than hobbyist one, but it's the same mug. And this one's actually a little bit bigger. But Herb sent me this. So I'll be drinking my Florida Kanye out of this tonight. So thank you. Robin and Jim, thank you, Herb. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you, Ed. And thank you very much, Nadine, for all the rum and the uh, tiki mugs. Very cool. Wow. Um, oh, I have a I have a mug contribution. Oh, what, yes, what is thank that? You. <laughs> Thanks to Stacy who sent this um, with with Jason uh, last week to New York. Um, this is uh, my new sippy cup for the show. So. Non-breakable. Non-breakable and non spill-proof, so we're good. Yes. All right. And I've when got. Tiki Ginger, oh, I've got sorry, ginger. Go sorry, I've got ginger tea tonight, so. Nice. All right, when Tiki time is over, it's time for Nay's Breast Cancer Update and Fact okay. of the Week. So here we go. Um, I've had a really rough week this week. Um, like, aside from other things, like a minor fender bender accident and a sick dog and other things, I have had my cancer issues. Um, yesterday I went for a CAT scan. I'm having um, my first, I'm supposed to have the first of my uh, re major reconstruction surgeries on the 29th of this month. Um, so I had to get a CAT scan um, for that. And um, I had some issues um, with some bleeding with the IV and whatnot. Went to my next appointment with my physical therapy appointment and um, they said, well, um, since you have this new symptom, you need to go over to oncology right now. I didn't realize how severe my new symptom could be. We don't know yet. Um, and for those of you who get queasy to big, ugly bruises, I am going to show you something, not to like be graphic and disgusting, but just to um, put it out there about how real this stuff is and raise awareness. So this is what's going on with me right now. These are my new side effects. I've got big, ugly, disgusting bruises. I touch my skin and it just explodes in bruises right now. So um, I, um, I, the oncologist is looking into that. I'm having blood work done. I'm going back on Tuesday and we will find out what the deal is. It could be a number of things, some which are really bad, some which are not so bad. So I'm not going to jump to any conclusions. Um, aside from that, my fact is that um, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's the kickoff day today, October. 
and appropriately, I am not feeling good. I have been uh, nauseous, and I'm on a night of no sleep. I had insomnia all night, and um, I'm feeling pretty ill tonight, but a little bit better than I was a couple of hours ago. So that's it. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And uh, okay, hey, we're done. Good news, good news. My mom said purple is in. <laughs> oh well, there you go. Um, there you I don't go. Think this kind of purple is, uh, <laughs> but. There's your there's your silver lining, my dear. All right, so we uh, we're gonna do something a little extra special tonight because uh, it is our number one fan's birthday. So uh, we will spare you singing because I'll tell you how bad I sing. Oh, so happy I'm birthday happy to Henry! To Henry's birthday is this week. I don't know if it's today or the third, but I know uh, I know it's right now. So happy birthday, Henry! Thanks for being our number one fan. You are the man. Uh, and I'll tell you real quick how bad I sing. I was in an eighth grade singing production of uh, the Pied Piper of Hamlin. I was in the chorus. I was a townsperson. Out of 18 kids singing at once. After the first rehearsal, the teacher said, hey, Smith. And this was in front of everybody. I said, yes. Hey, can you mouth the words from now on? <laughs> so they wanted me to be Millie Vanilli before Millie Vanilli because I sung that poorly in a chorus of 18. So no happy birthdays tonight, but happy birthday, Henry. Happy birthday, Henry. We love Henry. So, yeah. <laughs> so there, there's my why we're not singing tonight. No, and I'm one not. more thing before we get into our normal segments. We had a caption contest this week. So let me get that all set up here. And here was the picture. If you did not see it, you should make sure that you like our fan page. That's Thrifty Business with Jay and A. And we do have contests from time to time. I found this lovely beehive at Savers and, of course, put it on my head. And, of course, my wife yelled at me. And so uh, we had a, over 150 entries, and they were all funny. But here's the two that we made us chuckle the most. And basically it was me, Stacy, my wife, and, and Nadine. And so Margaret Carr was one of our winners. When it comes to thrifting, Jason floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. And I totally believe, I tell you, that is so true. Because even though I'm a big dude, I can sneak in quietly and get in and get out. You would never know I was there. So she's one of our winners. And our other winner... Is Kathleen Jackson? That's one big hairy bee. My wife Stacy could not stop laughing at that one. So those are <laughs> I, ones. That, I found that funny too. Yes. Yes, those are ones that tickled our funny bones. And so you are a winner. So if you're watching tonight, drop me a message on Facebook, and I'll get you out your prizes to you. If you're not watching, no big deal. I will hit you up later. Uh, but hope you are watching. Oops. Let me get. Let me stop sharing that. Ah. All right. So I can put that away. All right. Cool. So. That's our contest, so if you, uh, if you want to participate, keep your eyes peeled for more fun contests. We, we do do the, uh, we do do the uh, caption contest from time to time, so make sure that you watch our site. All right, now into our normal segments. It is the scores of the week. All right, I had a couple cool things this week, and so let's get right to it. All right, my first score is not going to look like a score, but I will explain to you why it is a score. Because not every score is a million-dollar score. Keep that in mind. Always keep that in mind. I bought these two cassettes for 50 cents, and I sold them for $16. Yes, I sold two used cassettes for $16. That is the band Tool, which is awesome, and, and Kid Rock, who is also awesome. And I have sold tons of cassettes this year, uh, but uh, this, this is a bonus tip. Do not ignore the cassette section, especially if you get them for a quarter. And my other tip is, if you look here, I'll, I'll make this bigger. As you can see, the this is cracked. And when I'm doing cassettes, when I do CDs, I do replace the cases. But mainly on cassettes, people are not buying them for collectability. They're buying them because they have a car that just has a cassette deck. So they don't really care about the cases so much. So I just put in there, cases are rough. I don't waste my time, and I've never had an unhappy customer. So... There is my extra bonus tip. And we always like to show the bras I sell. This is a 32i. As an H-I. So that was bought for 2 bucks, sold for 40 and it went to uh, Germany, I do believe. It was definitely international. I think it was Germany or Sweden. Something like that. So those are my two fun scores this week, cassette tapes and bras. Let's hop, hop over to Nadine's score here. Okay, so um, just to say something, I have really not had a lot of sales this week. I haven't been listing. I need to start listing again for obvious reasons. Um, 
and I do have another job which I'm trying to um, maintain at home too. So um, anyway, this is um, this was a score. I actually accepted an offer. Oh boy, I think it was thirty nine ninety nine that they offered me. Um, they um, and it was it was really. Um, Nothing like like the brand was nothing um, nothing exciting or anything, but it was a new old stock um, vintage '80s, very '80s sweater, and it took um, it was acrylic. It wasn't like wool or anything really nice, but it was just very '80s. It took um, it took a few months to sell this, but um, I was happy with that offer. I took it. It went in a padded flat rate envelope, and buyers happy. So. Uh, and before we move on, we, I'm going to answer a couple questions because they're pertinent to the moment. Um, somebody said, "Can you uh, can you do this as a full time job, eBay?" Yeah, if you do it right, uh, definitely join the thrifting board. Hey, show your shirt, Nadine. Oh yes, yes, I've got. Join our new Facebook group, the thrifting know. board, and you'll definitely get help to becoming full time. And more importantly, Suzanne Sanders wants to know why I put those two cassettes together. She says random, and you're right, Suzanne. I bought a whole set of cassettes. And I broke them down into fun little lots. Like I had a Rush lot and a Led Zeppelin lot and a classic rock lot. And when I was all done with the lots, I had two left, Kid Rock and Tool. So by themselves, they were just okay. But I thought, eh, they'll be a fun twosome. It did, it did take a little while, but somebody bought it. And so that's why. That was the only reason they got put together because they were the only two left. And someone says, Nadine, have you tried sucking on a lemon for nausea? On a lemon, that's interesting. And oddly, I actually like lemons. Like I will eat lemons and limes just because I, I'm weird and I like the <laughs> taste of them. Like I could just eat it like an orange. I know that's so. I can try that actually. <laughs> hey, it won't hurt. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've done our scores. <laughs> And now let's do our duds of the week. And uh, thrifting board t-shirts will be available for sale very soon. So keep your eyes peeled in the group. You will see those for sale. All right. So my dud, I have two duds this week. And um, you might think, oh, Hilo Hattie, nice little bamboo print. It's 100% silk. Why is that a dud? Well, apparently nobody cared. I guess even though it was silk, it was a medium. The pattern is not the most exciting. And I got an offer of 12 or 15 bucks the other day, and I looked, and I've had it listed for like, I don't know, a year and a half, maybe two. So I was happy to take that 12 or 15 bucks and get it gone. So, you know, not every Hawaiian shirt is created equal, and even with the same brands, I've had better success. Uh, but, uh, and hey, maybe an ironing, an iron or a steamer would have made it worth a little bit more. I was going to. But, you know. And then my other dud, and once again, you'd be like, what? Disneyland, a dud? There was a time when I would buy every Disney shirt, but there is a point where there is just too much, and you should really look for the um, the better ones. Oh, I did sell the uh, Hilo Hattie for 12 because this one I sold for 15 But again, I had it over a year. It wasn't all that exciting. It's just a black and white Disneyland resort with Mickey Mouse kind of fading into the background. But I only paid 2 bucks, so I still made a couple dollars. Uh, but I will de I'm definitely gotten pickier as time went on in my Disney shirts. All right, Nadine's dud of the week. So this is my biggest dud ever. Um, I have had this in my store probably since I started selling. It was so bad that it was like the item that um, I was. I kept saying, I've got to redonate that thing. And then I finally just forgot about it. I don't know why I bought the outfit in the first place. It is four years a dud. That is, the, that is a record, I think. What? Yeah. What? Wait a minute, I'm sorry. Four Did you years. Say I four said years. four years. I started selling in 2011. That's when I opened um, my account, and um, that was one of my first items. Yeah. So I accepted. Um, they, I got a $20 offer. I didn't even. I hardly even looked at what the offer was. I was just like, accept. I didn't. If they had honestly, they had offered me. Uh, eight dollars or something I would have just been like as long as it paid for the shipping <laughs> so um, that's my record dud I think uh, and uh, you know, the chat is very active tonight we always like to try and Am I frozen I, I, I just had a glitch too okay good I think we're back okay okay chat's very busy tonight we're trying to keep up but our girl Christine Lemoyne is in the chat 
She is our official answer girl. So somebody said, why don't you iron it? And she said, Jason never irons. That's true. And somebody else said, do you pay one listing when you list it for four years? Nope. It'll come off your monthly total. So anything Christine says is you can take that to the bank. Mm -hmm. And if she says something wrong, I'll let you know. But Christine knows all about Nay and I and, and the procedures and everything. So uh, Christine is the official answer girl for a thrifty business with Jay and Nay, co-starring Christine, the answer girl. I, I just want to say one thing to Bolo. Um, yes, normally four years, I should have, like, that should have been gone. I should have, that should not happen. <laughs> so, um, so Bolo asked, um, it doesn't, don't the fees pay, you know, like Christine was just, was answering, but four years, in my opinion, is way too long for a dud, so. All right, so normally, if you watch our show, normally at this part, we do a Close Encounters of the Thrifty Kind. However, my story for this week involves our guest. So we're going to save that segment until our guest comes on. And so we're going to give you a bonus tonight. We're going to give you one of JNA's thrift hauls because we want to make sure that we still bring you a full show. And you know we like to go thrifting. And here's the deal. I spent an hour and a half in a Savers the other day. It was a sale day. 30% uh, off of all clothes, bedding, bath, uh, purses, and shoes. And I spent an hour and a half, and so now I'm going to show you my entire haul. I'm sorry if this makes your show go super long and you got something else to do tonight, but we had to show it tonight. All right, ready? Here's my whole haul. Okay, back to the regular show. Yes, in an hour and a half, these are the only things I've found. Two bras. Two bras. One, two. That's it. That's my whole haul, but I will show you. It's my favorite brand, Cacao. <laughs> to which I say, Kasik. Yes, Kasik. Now, if you're a bigger girl or you buy bras for bigger girls, you know typically they're very boring. Typically, big bras are white, beige, or black, and that's it. Now, this one is a 40 double D, so not huge, huge, but man, is it sexy. It's got the little zipper. It's kind of got the, like, the little leather look. I love that. And then I saw this one next to it, and this one is 44 D. But it's new with tags, and boy, is that a hot-looking bra. Oh, very nice. And the new with tags was $38, and I bought it for 4 bucks. So I think I'll do okay on that. So there's my thrifting haul. <laughs> That's it. I found nothing. I looked, and, you know, I got a lot of stuff here, so I don't need extras. So it had to be something good, and that was it. So that was our... Uh, that was my big haul for the week. That, that in itself is a thrifty, um, I, I, a, a thrifty encounter of the, yes, you know what I'm trying to say there. All right, so now let's hop back into our normal segments. Oops. It's our thrifty tips of the week. All right, mine's a two-parter, and you're going to see why. It's going to work out very nicely. So one day I was at Savers, and for four dollars each, I bought two clocks, and they are cool. All right, here's clock number one. It's an awesome taxi. Now I think I show these in a haul video. So if you watch <laughs> our show, you've seen these clocks, okay? So here's clock number one. Here's clock number two. Okay, very cool clocks. I was so excited to buy them. I missed one part. There is a pendulum on both clocks, obviously missing. But here's where people tend to screw up. When they're asking about clothing and how a size works on a specific, specific line of clothing, I always say, did you go to the manufacturer's website, like Elaine Bryan or something? Oh, I never thought of that. So these clocks were made by Allen Designs. So I called up my friends at Allen Designs, and I go, yo, I need the pendulum for these two clocks. Do you happen to have them? And she goes, well... We still make the peacock, so yes, we discontinued the taxi, so let us look. After much digging, they found the pendulums for both clocks. So here is here is my pendulum now. So this this made the clock worth well more, and I paid eight bucks a pendulum. Here, I'm trying to get it right here, and this will probably sell in the neighborhood of fifty dollars. And since the taxi's uh, discontinued, and I don't I don't see one anywhere, I'm shooting for at least a hundred, if not more. So obviously my tip is when you when you see something pretty, make sure to look it over. But once you've screwed up, try and fix it. Very cool. All right. On to you, my dear. Okay. So my thrifty tip is if you happen to find, um, say, half of a pajama set, you know, like just the top, 
is the bottoms, or half of a salt and pepper set, or another set, you know, of things that usually go like a one bookend or something. Um, look around the store um, in different sections and in the same areas because there's there's a chance that um, it was donated at the same time, but it got misplaced in the thrift store. So um, you might find its mate somewhere in another section or nearby. So. Yeah, I've often found a, a salt shaker here, pepper shaker there. Mm -hmm. Top, I found a top of a or a, a, a nightshirt, and then the matching robe, two different sections. Yep, exactly. So. <laughs> Which cat do we see on May steps tonight? Could it be Milo? Hmm. Could it be Phoebe? I don't know. How about my boy and your boy half pint? Let's see who's back there. Oops, let's put you back on the screen. Oh, man, I see some zonked out Milo's and Phoebe's back there. That's for damn sure. Yes. And half pint, I don't think, has uh, made it to the show lately at all. He was behind me pre show on the printer behind me, but he doesn't want to be on air. I love how Milo's paws are just crossed, like, yo, just chilling on this step here, man. Yeah. He's, uh,. He's my definitely my chill guy, yes. All right, so here we go, back into our normal stuff. Oops. <laughs> you have got to be shipping me. All right, we share shipping tips and tricks. Typically, mine's a bad one, and Nadine's is a good one. So I'm going to let Nadine go first so I can prep mine a little bit. Okay. So mine is, and I conveniently have um, a bag of packing peanuts under my desk right here. So um, my tip is to, if you are shipping something very breakable, um, like I ship, I just recently shipped a vintage pie plate, um, and I shipped it in a, um, a box that was large enough. You you, what I'm trying to say is you, you need to have at least two inches of um, packing peanuts around, enough bubble wrap around the item, and then at least two inches of packing peanuts around on either side of uh, the item um, so that it allows for some absor absorption of the shock. You don't want to just, um, you know, try to squeeze it into a smaller box without that um, padded layer of, um, of packing peanuts all the way around it on, on every dimension. So. Now, it's funny you say that, Nadine, because, and I don't normally cross-pollinate my shows. But oh, no. Don't tell me you're going to... <laughs> now, Monday mornings, I do a show with Chris Green. It's called eBay versus Amazon. Chris Green's an Amazon guy. I'm an eBay guy. And we kind of duke it out. What's better? And we talk about shipping, customer service, purchasing, all kinds of okay. stuff. So we've had some shipping discussions lately. And somehow we got on this weird topic of let's ship each other a coffee mug in a box with no padding. Right, right. So that's the one Chris sent me. It's sitting right here waiting to be open Monday morning. And he got my box today. And so, uh, if you are, if you want to know, so in that box is only a coffee mug, nothing else, no padding, no peanuts, nothing but a coffee mug. So, if you're dying to see what happens, uh, make sure to find the link in either Scam Power or the Thrifting Board for Monday mornings. It's at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, and we are going to show uh, how shipping is done without uh, any materials, like Nadine just said you should do. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That okay. <laughs> All right. So I didn't have a shipping tip until about uh, an hour before the show. My wife got uh, packages in the mail. She ordered items from the same company on the same day, the same order. She got the tracking number, and sh the items showed up in two packages. Same tracking number, same invoice. The first package she got was this poly mailer, like we recommend for all, all clothing. And uh, she got these sweet Under Armour running pants, whatever they are. She's running the Chicago, Chicago Marathon in a little over a week, so... I think these might be for that. Okay, so there in the poly mailer. Sitting next to the poly mailer, same order, same tracking number, is this giant box. You ready? With a visor in it and nothing else. <laughs> they use this giant box for this little visor where they could have put both items together or this would have been just fine in the poly mailer. But they use a giant, giant box for one little visor. So that's how large companies do waste uh, money and products. Don't do that. That's my tip. 
that is my tip. So I want to give a shout out really quick to um, yeah to Katie um to Katie Lemons in the um in the chat. She purchased. She just mentioned that she she did purchase recently um, a Spuds McKenzie glass for me, and she just um, said that I meticulously packed it. So thank you, Katie, and thank you so much for your purchase. I I appreciated that. I hope you're enjoying it. Spuds McKenzie, the original party animal. Yes. Alrighty, we are up to the last segment of the show before we get to our guest, and it is the viewer two-minute topic of the week. All right, that was a little off of my, uh, could have been getting this ready, but I didn't, so bad, I am a bad man. Okay. There we go. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, it's our viewers' two-minute topic of the week. Tonight, our question is submitted by Elizabeth Russell Rose, ERR as I like to call her. How important is it to record inventory, and when and how do you do it? Should we really write down every item we buy and how much we paid for it? So there's our question. Let me get the timers all ready, and Nadine, you are away. Okay, so I am um, by... Brain, by design of my brain and and um and you know my education and everything I'm an artist I I started as a fine artist I'm a graphic designer um my real that's my real profession so um my brain is very visual and uh, creative not data driven so um I do this the wrong way I should have an Excel spreadsheet I start every year with an Excel <laughs> spreadsheet and then I end up taking a photo of the price tags and going back to my photos and a lot of the prices oddly are in my brain. I just know by looking at an item exactly how much. I don't know why. I can't remember numbers. I'm not a numbers person, but in that sense, like I have a visual in my brain for that. So um, I'm probably not the best advice for that, but it does. My system for me works because of um, my uh, one-sided creative brain and not my uh, math and logic side. To that so if that makes sense to everybody. <laughs> Nice job, nice job. All right, I'm going to do mine real quick here in a second, but I want to answer a question before it goes away. Um, uh, oh, Peachtree Picker says, I ship all my hats in a box. They will be crushed in loose form in a poly bag. Not so, Peachtree. Uh, I, I will definitely ship a hat that has a, um, you know, a brand-new brim, a high-profile hat, a leather hat, but any just regular ball cap that's already been kind of formed, I throw it in a bubble mailer. I throw an air pillow in there that keeps the shape, and uh, it works just fine. Never had a complaint. But, yeah, if it's a $50, $50 leather ball cap, absolutely put in the box. If it's a $20 hat that's already got form, man, you throw in a poly mailer or a bubble mailer, you are all good. So don't worry about that. Trust me, I have plenty of uh... – oh, that's why it's up too high. And now I've made it so tight it won't come down. All right. So I'm going to throw this way back here. Where are we? Come over here. There we go. All right. So let me, because I'm going to share a screenshot while I'm doing mine. So hang on a quick second. Let me get that up here. Boom. All right. So here we go. Yes, you should write down everything you buy. And I do a spreadsheet. And here's how I do my spreadsheet. So I do it by category. So here's my T-shirt spreadsheet. And so as I'm getting home from thrifting, I just log it in. Abe Lincoln Ghetto Blaster, size, color, price. And that way when we go to do our paperwork to know what we paid, it's super duper easy. Once I get everything logged in, I just reorganize it alphabetically so we can easily find it. And then I do it by category. So here's T-shirts, here's sweatshirts and sweaters, here's suits and sports coats. And so just a quick so you know exactly what it is where it is, and how much it costs. And I could not do it any other way. So as Nadine has a uh, creative brain, I have a very math-oriented analytical that, brain. Yeah, that would so, tell me. Yeah, I so I do that all the time. And uh, that is how I keep track of everything, and it goes real nice and smooth, and it's easy to do while you're watching TV at night. There we go. All right. But and that's just a spreadsheet. I did it on Google Docs. Google Docs is free. Uh, you can log in from anywhere in the world, so I can always check my uh, assistant's work. Um, so that's why I like Google Docs over using, like, Excel. I know you can do it online Excel, but Google Docs is free. It's there. It's the exact same thing. So uh, that 
I yeah. try with the Excel. I really do. <laughs> Every year I start off great, and then it just falls into the pictures and the visuals. Well, you know, that sounds like me and my taxes. I start off with great intentions, and by the end of the year, I just have this box I dump on my uh, accountant's desk and go, here's my numbers. Good luck. I do save my receipts, too, by the way. That's another. Oh, yes. You must save your receipts. Yes. If you make any money, it is a business. It's not a hobby. I don't care if it's 20 bucks or 10000 You You should report them, so... Keep that in mind. We are not tax professionals. That's just a uh, that's just uh, what I do. So there you go. All right, let's let's jump it off here. Right. It's time for our guest of the week. It's Amanda Winger. Yay! Hi. There's Amanda. How are you, Amanda? I'm great. How are you? Oh, I thought we'd start the start it off with my little sneaky tiki mug. There you go. And is that just straight gin or vodka? What's going on there? Well, I'm at my office and I have to drive home, so I'm being lame, and it's just fizzy water. Sorry. <laughs> so um, I was talking to a mutual friend of ours today, and before we jump off into the real interview, I want to ask you a question. Oh, wow. I never asked you this before. I had a uh, I had a party here in June. You attended. How was your hangover the next day? Oh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> Somebody asked me if you had a hangover. I'm like, you know, I never asked her. Not really. I'm a pro. I'm a pro. Uh, good girl. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let, the way we'll start this, because the, the reason you're really here is because of this. Close encounters of the thrifty kind, 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 kind. So, uh, Amanda and I are good friends now, but, of course, we had to start someplace. I'll let you tell them how we started, Amanda. Sure. Um, so, I was actually in Vegas uh, with my grandmother for a board meeting for my work. And in the hotel, we saw this cool show came on. It was Thrift Hunters. It was the very first episode. And I realized, hey, these guys are in Vegas. Let's figure out where they went. And so I think we figured out you went to Savers. So we found a Savers, and we go there, and we're looking through things, and I see Jason. Well, what I think is Jason. I, I say to my grandmother, hey, is that that guy from the TV show? And he must have overheard me because he's like, yes, that looks me. So well, I, yeah, let me tell you, when you're 6'5", and people try and whisper, <laughs> sound just carries up. So I always hear it. And... Uh, a little known thing that some people might not know, I mean, it's not really little known, but I, I, I get pedicures and I paint my toes. And so when I'm wearing open-toed shoes and people whisper about me, I lean in, I go, I can hear you, and I'm wearing flip-flops. It's not a surprise. So I heard you and Grandma saying, is that the guy from Thrift Hunters? You guys didn't see me lean in, but I went, yep, that's me. And there are six savers in Vegas, and you picked the right one, and here is the picture from that day. There we are, shopping in the uh, the glassware and dishes aisle. Very so cool. we met that day, and I added you to my Facebook group, and we just started chit-chatting online, and we've, we've been friends ever since, and now you've been to my house, you've drank my rum, uh, I met your husband, and now we're buddies. Yeah, and at that time, I wasn't even selling on eBay. I was actually, I had a booth at an antique mall, so it really did change, like, the trajectory of what I do. So it's pretty cool. Thanks. <laughs> All right, Nay, so uh, I'm going to have you uh, get the actual interview going. Okay. So, Amanda, can you tell us um, a little bit about um, what you do in your other non-online non selling life? <laughs> what platforms you sell on, um, how you got started selling, what you sell, that kind of thing. Just give us a little background and uh, you take it from there. Sure. So um, I have a full-time job. I'm the executive director of an, um, the Conductors Guild, which is an international nonprofit for music conductors. And um, so I'm kind of my own boss in some way, so I have a lot of flexibility, which is really nice. And that, um, I don't know, it just allows me to, to pursue other things like in my free, in my free time. Um, and so I always thrifted and bought things on Craigslist, and I mean my whole house is thrifted pretty much. Um, and so we started flipping things and selling things on Craigslist for more. And um, oh, and uh, so 
we really like that. And then my husband one day, he's like, well, let's go to that antique mall down the street and see how much it would cost to have a booth. And so it was really low cost, and I figured out why later because it kind of sucked. But, yeah. um, <laughs> but we started there, and then I met Jason and, and got in the group and realized that I could be doing this on eBay. So I phased out my booth and went on eBay, and now... That was about two years ago, and I have 800 things in my store now. I just hit the 800 mark. Um, Congratulations. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> and, um, and so I sell, I mean, everything. I just shipped out, like, fish lures and, I don't know, vintage stuff. I mean, it's just kind of really random. So whatever I can find a deal on is what I sell. Very so cool. real, real quick, and I'm way overdue, but... Yes, they're painted. Oops, shoot. Oh, my God. Yes, they're painted. <laughs> nice. But uh, somebody had a great suggestion. I'm, uh, I'm going to Chicago next week. I'm, I'm getting my toes done. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Nadine and I raise money for breast cancer. So it is pink toes this week, ladies and gentlemen. Pink with glitter. <laughs> when, I, when I went in for my double mastectomy, I actually had, um, I had uh, pink nail polish with... Um, with breast cancer um, ribbons painted on on my uh, index finger, so that's how I went in for my double mastectomy. Are we? And I am well aware we're having a little yeah, bit of technical difficulties with our flow tonight. And since it's all of us, I'm guessing it's a YouTube Google thing. So you know, if we freeze, bear with us, and we always come back. And uh, so just keep that in mind. You know, we're we're. Uh, we're pushing through. All right, so we got lots of scores and duds that uh, Amanda wants to share with us, but what Amanda does for a day job besides eBay, uh, she, has this, she has been nice enough to uh, demonstrate for us what else she does, and she is a sword swallower. So here she goes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Okay, if you don't know who that was, that was the Spice Girls. Oh my God, that was so awesome. That was, that I, don't was care what, I don't care if we have President Obama on. You're the best guest ever. That you was awesome, Amanda. For me. Ah, that was awesome. If you want to be my lover. <laughs> Thank you. That was fantastic. <laughs> there That's you go. It. We can go home now. Show's over. See you later. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. That that was that was yeah. cool as I hell. Think, I think okay. she just won the prize for our most awesome guest. Yes. Oh, that's it. You win. I'm sorry, any future guests. Amanda just beat y'all. <laughs> yes, that's. I think that's going to be a high a high bar to. Uh, she just raised the bar there. I don't think anyone's going to meet that. That took a lot of convincing. I was, yeah. yeah. And it sounded great. And besides the fact I thank you for doing the Spice Girls, it did sound great. It sounded great. And people are going to tell their friends, you got to hear French horn Spice Girls. <laughs> Tune into this show. Yeah, I think the only person that could ever beat you is if a rum distiller came on and said, here, Jason, here's the distillery. That'd be about it. Yeah. Or an actual Spice Girl. That would top it. That would definitely top it. So anyone out there listening, if you know a Spice Girl and you can get her on, you could be my best guest ever. All right, let's get into your scores and duds. And I think I have them backwards. So uh, let me find the first score. Because you've got some weird shit in here, man. <laughs> like some of these things, I'm like, what is this? And some are some are cool, normal, like yeah, yeah. you should be paying attention. All right, I think I got them uh, all together. So let me pop on the screen to share, and then you can uh, tell us about your sh uh, scores and duds. There we go. Ah, uh, this is a score that turned into a dud. But anyways, <laughs> um, so I found this in a online auction. I do tons of online auctions, um, and I looked it up um, before I bought it, and it. It, they sell pretty well, and so I only paid ten dollars for it. Um, and so I knew that I had to prove that it works, so I took the picture with the lights on, and I actually added a video to the listing too, and so it showed it working. And so uh, I sold it for two twenty-five, I think, maybe, no, maybe I got full price. I don't know. Um, and I was so excited. I shipped it out. It's twenty pounds, but um, 
actually they paid for shipping, so it was great. Um, and then I get a message that it works, but it doesn't change speeds. So who know? I know, you know, that it needed to do that. So I'm pretty much gonna have to refund them. Uh, haven't heard back from them. I offered to get it repaired if you wanted to do that instead of, you know, fully um, refunding. But haven't heard back, so we'll see. But it was a score. So I mean. Like you said, it's just weird. So just don't be afraid of the weird stuff. So like, what, what is it exactly? Oh, I honestly don't even know. I just know it's a phone. <laughs> like literally. And um, the guy, before buying it, the guy asked me some random question I knew nothing about. And I couldn't find a manual online. So like you called the manufacturer of those clocks, I called this manufacturer. They um, emailed me a PDF of the manual. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. A good job on that, and put a video in your listing. Yeah. So good job on a couple of parts. You put a video in your listing. You held your camera the correct way, which is horizontal, not vertical, because televisions are horizontal. They're not vertical. And you showed it working, even though it didn't pan out, but I still want to show it because it's one of those things where you don't even know what it is, and, you know, had there not been an issue, you would have had a nice, nice profit. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's hop on to uh, this one. Oh, this was a total shocker. Um, so I was toying with, um, at uh, eBay Radio, uh, Lynn Jolly gave a presentation, and her method is try things for an auction for a week and then list them um, good till canceled. So I, I was like, sure, I'll give it a shot. And so I had, I bought 10, um, yeah, 10 old pennants for uh, $14 in a lot of an auction again. So I put them all up on, on um an auction, and this one just out of the blue went for seventy-six dollars, and it's not even in great shape. It's just I, I'm just flabbergasted by that one. So it was just bizarre, but um, I think um, it has something to do with their mascot that they don't use anymore. It's a rebel. I don't know, but I was happy with it. And the other ones in that lot, I, I'm up to a hundred and eighty dollars, I think, that I made from ten, um, selling five pennants. I still have about five left. So I did pretty well. That's great. Yeah. Good job. All right. Next score. Aw, Teddy Ruxpin. I always wanted one of these as a kid and I never got it. So. I remember Teddy. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened to my Teddy. I had one too. Aww. You had one, eh? I did. I don't know. I, that just like was a memory. I just saw that and I was like, oh, I had one. I don't, yeah. Yeah. I never had one, so Nadine, you had it up on me. Yeah. So there are kind of a lot of these for sale. Um, some don't work, some do. And I th um, actually when I got it, I got it for, I don't know, $20 I think in an auction. He actually didn't work. He, his mouth didn't work and his eyes didn't work. And uh, But there are tons of YouTube videos that show you how to fix them. And actually it's so easy, like literally you open and close his eyes like really fast for a long time and then it randomly works. So anyway, so I did, yeah. So I did that, and um, so then I got him to working, and I put a video in that listing as well. And so I think that's what helped me sell this over the other ones that were listed. So that was oh. a good. Tip. And yeah. that's a good tip there too. Yeah. Are we coming up to the next item? Yep. Okay. <laughs> you guys not see it? No, now it was like a little lag there. I don't oh, because I was just like, why is it so quiet? What happened to you? <laughs> That's why I was trying to freak the silence. <laughs> and we're gonna have a moment of silence for this uh, viola. <laughs> yeah, viola. Come on. Vi oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I just got schooled. I think. <laughs> All right, so this one, I is this a violin. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> well, the funny thing, I thought it was a violin in the auction when I looked at the preview pictures because I'm not a string player. But um, anyway, uh, this was in an auction again and. I um, before I bought it, I sent the picture to a friend who knows violins, and he told me like the range that it could sell for, and he said four to eight hundred dollars um, if it's in good shape. And so I was like, sure, I'll go for it. And I threw down one hundred and forty dollars on it. Um, so it was a big risk because I didn't go see it in the preview or anything. So I just kind of went for it. Um, and then I get it, and it's not a violin; it's a viola, which is actually kind of better because they're um, a little harder to find, probably. Um, and it needed some repairs, and 
the repairs would have put me in the spending $400 range when it's only worth four to $800. So I was like, eh, no. So I just listed it as is, and I put, you know, what the repairs needed, uh, what it needed. And it sold um, for $500, and it went to Japan. And I did this one through the Global Shipping Program. I don't typically use that, but for something like that, I was, you know, let them handle the risk. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a good sale. That's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah, that, great. And that's a good use of global shipping, uh, and I'm sure Nadine would, would agree with me because because you don't so. use it, do you, Nay? Yes, I do. For oh, you items. Do use it. Yep, oh. my rule. My rule is any item over. And I know a lot of people are gonna not agree with my theory here, but my 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 breaking point is any item over fifty dollars goes GSP. Okay. So but yeah, if it, I don't use it at all. But if I had this item because A was expensive, B was fragile, I absolutely mm -hmm. would use it. Uh, and uh, that reminded me, I'm going to tell you a quick little story, a, um, a violin story. So what's the difference between a violin and a fiddle? I don't know. Nothing. It depends who's playing it. it really, there is no difference. Ah, so nice. uh, uh, Stacy and I, my wife and I, were in uh, New Orleans in Jackson Square, and there was a little uh, girl, she was maybe like eight or nine, playing classical violin on the street corner, busking for money, and her mom was standing like, you know, two feet away from her. She wasn't just on the street by herself. And um, she was a little black girl. And I said, I'm going to give you five bucks. Now I'm going to give you a ten if you know the Orange Blossom special, which is a country tune. <laughs> and she looked at her mother, and her mother gave her the nod to go ahead, and she busted out the Orange Blossom <laughs> special. Now, if you've never heard that, uh, oh. when we're done... Go check out YouTube. Uh, Charlie's da Charlie Daniels did it in triple time, and that's how you, uh, that's how I knew it. And this little girl went from like some classical piece I can never name to the Orange Blossom special without missing a beat, and she got the ten bucks. So uh, I, I always enjoy a good street performer. I'll give you money for telling me a bad joke. Just do something, entertain me, <laughs> and I will give you money. That's awesome. All right, so wait, do we, do we have more scores? Or we, oh, oh, yeah, you had another uh, machine. I'm like, you've got all these machines. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and one other, one other little thing about the violin. I didn't know how to pack it, and there's a YouTube video for that, too. So just check YouTube. So this is another random machine that I got in an auction sight unseen. Um, they actually, their preview picture had the light on, so I at least knew that it worked. But I think I spent um, $10 on that one. And let me, I think that one, I took the best offer for like $125, I think. Um, and it wasn't returned, so that was a pretty good <laughs> sale there. But yeah, um, that one actually I emailed the company because it's an older model, and they sent me some specs that I could add to my listing, so that helped. See, as an added bonus, see how we both use the companies of the items we need some help yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that, that, very, that came in handy with uh, Jason's earlier tip there. Yeah. All right, kind of like my cassettes, you wouldn't think a $16 sale would be like, woo, big scores. <laughs> yeah. And this is a $10 sale, but mm -hmm. tell us about this. Okay, so um, this was in a thrift store. There were 10 of these, like, taped together, you know how they do, and um, they were $5 for what, and I probably had 25% off that day, because that's usually my thrift store day. Um, so they were, you know, 5 bucks, maybe less, and I've sold all but one. So I've sold nine out of the 10 for, 10, for $10 each. So, yeah, I mean, for, it's just so easy to see. Each each one. Yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and it's so easy to um, store and easy to ship. They're like my favorite thing to ship. I just throw it in the envelope and they're off. So it's good. I don't think I've ever said it about anything that is my favorite thing to ship. Have you, Nadine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, my my um, my my one thing that um, I've been having issues on lately are uh, sewing patterns, but they're also my. <laughs> My favorite thing to sell and ship because they're so easy to just slide into a, to a, a little poly mail or just they're gone. I just never thought, oh, this is my favorite thing to ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like shipping clothing too, though, because, yeah. I'm going to ask my assistant tomorrow, hey, what's your favorite thing to ship? See what he says. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I think this is their last score here, and then we'll go on to your duds. Oh, this is like my favorite thing that I found just because it's so kitschy and fab. Um, this was a, sh a vintage sheet, as you can see, and I found that one while I was on, 
I was in California um, for work. I, of course, thrift when I go away. Um, and it was $3, and I it doesn't say Barbie on it, but it looks like Barbie, but I wasn't sure. And so I used um, the thrifting groups, and actually there's a group called Mid-Century Modern Kitsch, and those people are amazing. They will identify anything that's kitschy and mid-century modern, and they, they had, like, the catalog that it came out of and everything, so I could add a bunch of the, um, you know, what year it was made and everything. So it went for 50. I thought it might go for a little more, and I probably could have held out, but, eh, you know, on a $3 investment. That's so, yeah. Enough. Yeah, it's a good sale. Yeah. Awesome. All right, quick, uh, quick technicality note. Hey, Nay, what happened to your lower third? Did you turn it off? No, I did or not. Did it just disappear? It just disappeared. It just vanished. Okay. Yeah, there's some glitches, and uh, I just happened to be looking down while Amanda was talking. I'm like, and in fact, it? I do not have a toolbox or anything else. So. All right. So. Okay. All right, well, at least mine's there. Hi, my third is there. All right, okay. Amanda. Like the rest of us in the world, we all have our duds. Let's look <laughs> at yours. And yours is kind of in a group. But let me find you had something before that, I think. Well, I think it's all the same group, right? Um. Oh wait. Is, oh no, that's a dud. Hang on a second. Uh, oh, and, and then this was a dud. Okay, so yeah. So now we're on to your dud. So let's show your duds. And this one's so old it doesn't have the pictures anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> Apple USB Super Drive. Yeah. So um, my cousin had a yard sale, and my aunt went there. I didn't get to get, go there. And she picked up some stuff for me. So this was completely free. And it was sealed from the manufacturer, um, an Apple USB Super Drive, which I don't know. I had to learn what it was, but um, and it said refurbished on it, and so I um, sold it, and the guy said it didn't work. So he was like really angry about it too, and I mean I refunded him immediately, and he gave me negative feedback, so that was a bummer. But I don't know, it was sealed, so I couldn't really test it. Oh, the grunt. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I you have it. one of these, Nadine. <laughs> No, I. You know what? I can't see. I don't know why I'm not seeing the the item on the screen right now. Do you see it, Amanda? Yeah. Now I see it. Like, okay. It's like quick. I I just thought for yeah. Okay. For, for. Um. Wait. Um. There you go. So um, this uh, I sold. Uh, I think it. I don't know what the best option. Probably twenty five bucks. Um. And then they messaged me and said that the battery compartment was all corroded, and so ever since then. If I get something that has, especially old things that have a battery, you know, they're battery powered, a lot of times they'll have batteries in there for, you know, so you can test it out and stuff in the store. So I always check those now. And actually a lot of them have been corroded. So that's a big bummer. Some you can clean, but some they're just too far gone. So I had to refund that guy too. All right. So then uh, I'll show the first thing, but talk about about this purchase because it was a bigger purchase than just this one item and then we'll talk about the items you have because yeah. I want to offer some tips too. I was going to say maybe you can help me because I think Nadine, Nadine hasn't seen these but I think when she sees them she'll be able to offer some tips too. So um, there was a really cool auction or no a state sale in our neighborhood or not neighborhood area um, of a guy who used to work for Sony. He had amazing things like platinum records up and I mean just crazy awesome stuff. And I have sold some of the things I got there. But I got a bunch of t-shirts that are mainly from soundtracks, and they're just so rare that, like, no one's looking for them. No one knows that they're out there, and so they're just kind of sitting. So I think my prices are a little high because I haven't really given them any attention. But, yeah, right now they're duds. All right, so based on this one, Nay, what would you tell her to change? Because um, I have a couple I, ideas. Yeah, let me... Um, on, I wouldn't just do T hyphen shirt. Um, you, know, I, you know what? I can't see her. I, I can't see her title now. So. Oh, all right. Well, here's what I think. I think there's a lot. Um, Rare. Yeah, I see. I see. Her now. So chaos soundtracks. No one's searching for that. So get rid of that immediately. And Jim Carrey was the star of the movie, but also what's her face was in it. Um, shirt twice. You don't need. Yeah, you don't need T dash shirt and then. T hyphen shirt sure, and then shirt sure again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Cameron uh, Diaz was in it, so you could go with her. Or okay, the movie part I can't help on. <laughs> <laughs> or because it's a soundtrack, pick one or pick a big song off the soundtrack, the one where he's 
uh, Cuban Pete. Because that's, <laughs> yeah. that's, you know, that's some key words that people might be searching for. So people look for Cameron Diaz stuff. They look for Cuban Pete. But they won't look, look for chaos soundtracks. Hmm. That's a good tip. That's great. Um, All right, nice. So that's yeah. one thing you have. And then another, this is the other movie I've never seen. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Nay. Yeah, I, I forgot. Nadine is uh, yeah. our book and art nerd. I'll be the movie and TV nerd. Yeah, I'm not very uh, movie and TV or although so every once in a while I'll throw a surprise out there. But all right, so you being a classical uh, is classical the right term, Amanda? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you being a classical performer, here's what I would pull off of this shirt: at least put Yo Yo Ma in your title. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I, I, I don't know because classical ain't my thing. Are the rest of those people famous? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. So I would get rid of uh, obviously a Mortal Beloved soundtrack T-shirt. Get rid of promotional. Get rid of rare. Get rid of yeah, movie. Yeah, promotional and rare. Yep. Sony Music and put in Yo-Yo Ma and whoever else is the next famous person on that list. Cool. You don't think Sony is important to leave in there? Well, in this case, I think the artists on the soundtrack would be more important. Yeah, I guess if you're gonna draw, if you're gonna, if you have to toss. You know, it's a toss-up between the two. I can see that. But. Because you could add a drop-down for the Sony part of it. Yeah. All right, yeah, so I, what, what are, where do you got this listed? Okay, yeah. Um, are you not using your... I listed these so long ago, okay. so I so learned a lot. It, it, could, it could be helped by your items uh, specifics, which I don't see you using at all. Yeah, I don't see... Yeah, that's a good point, because that's, that's also picked up in search, so... And uh, free expedited shipping. Why do you have expedited shipping on a T-shirt? Uh, I think it's class. just it's just priority. Yeah, oh. first class, first class. First class. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Again, no, that was so no long. Point spending five or six bucks when you can spend three. Gotcha. I usually offer um, the, what I do is I offer first class as the first as the free option, and then I offer um, priority as if they want to pay for it, they can. That's what I do. Uh, did we lose the audience? I, I looked down at the chat. What is in good poutine? How do we get talking about poutine? <laughs> I know. I just I don't know what's going on in the chat either. I, I'm just I just I was just wondering the same thing, and I thought, okay, I'm just missing things tonight. All so. right. So yeah, use your specifics and fix your titles, and I think that could help you. Cool. Thanks. Now this one's very boring. It is a Sony fleece. Uh, yeah. Uh, Distribution, so you could not do more than you have because it's just for that. Um, and some some Sony nerd will wear it, but I yeah. doubt they'll wear it for forty. And this one, yes, free expedite. You have to have it because it'll definitely be uh, heavier than thirteen ounces. Yeah, that level. But again, you don't have any item specifics. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There's you have one <laughs> format. Format. What? Oh, you have it in other music memorabilia. That's why. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's an, yeah. Hmm. Well, you could do that, but then I would add in the normal clothing item specifics, size, material, mm -hmm. color, that stuff, because those things are all searchable, too. Yeah, that's what I, yeah. Cool. Okay, so I know I know Kirk a little bit. I know his name. Uh, Smooth Jazz. Now, is Cache a album or a song? I don't even know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we should I have, have a... We should have a little whip sound effect for when we're quizzing somebody like, I don't know. <laughs> I had the second picture up which uh, as my main one for a long time because that's why I love that shirt, but I don't know. It's just not. Well, the price is too high, I know. Yeah, and the picture is yeah, awful. And let's see here. Yep, item specifics, yeah. and you didn't even have measurements in this one. So, yeah, I think all your items could use a little sprucing up. And gotcha. I think with some sprucing up, you might be able to get some of the stuff sold. Cool. There's hope. And then this one, I don't know. I never even heard of this guy, and I'm guessing Nadine has never heard of him either. Yeah, he's a like yeah. a a composer of you know like classical type music. He's yeah, it's very it's a very obscure T-shirt. So. But again, look at all these awesome artists on this yeah. shirt. Yeah. Their names are there, so I would definitely pull out. You know. You could use any of them, depending on how you want to angle it. I mean, uh, obviously, um, Nick Cave, Elvis Costello, PJ Harvey, but William S. Burroughs would be super cool. I mean, yeah. William, how many t-shirts do you have that has William S. Burroughs in it? Or yeah. I, you know? So, yeah. 
That's I, cool. I think if you fill up your keywords with that and then talk about what it is specifically more in the description, uh, yeah. I doubt you'll get 100. Yeah, um, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> and that is, let me see if you wrote it down here, that is what's called a three-button Henley. Ooh. Or, because it's got the different sleeves, could be even a baseball shirt. Uh, I'd probably go three button Henley on that. Cool. So, yes, there you go. I, I would agree with that. And I have and a I have, I'm having like some weird thing with the with the items popping up, and I don't know what's going on with my <laughs> the glitchiness here. Yes. Oh, it's on Google Hangouts default setting. Is whoever's talking, their picture pops up, unless you click on the little box down below. Oh yeah, I, I've got this know. locked in, but she is. Oh. Uh, she's having. No, a I'm not. That's what I'm saying. It's like if there's some kind of technical thing going on. So. Anyway. All right. So yeah. So I don't think your duds will be duds if you do clean up a little bit. I think. Yep, I make, agree. I think if you take what Nay and I said and fix it, uh, you could come back as a guest again and go, "Hey, my duds are scores." <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, cool. Hold, oh, man. We're over, we're over the hour. Oh my gosh, wow, Nate. I made it. I made it. I made it. My, my boxing gloves. I'm, I made it. Oh, let me see those. Bring those oh, back yes. up here. My little, my little uh, so cute. My one of my um, my pink sisters, my my um, fellow breast cancer friend, uh, my my friend Jennifer, who's also a, a she's a breast cancer survivor. She sent me these little pink boxing gloves as a gift. Cool. Well, I will be getting my toes done this week in pink for, <coughs> excuse me, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Very cool. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll have, like, Nadine written on my toes or something. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's so sweet. <laughs> maybe I'll do J and A. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> you All would right, have cool. to post that. You, that would have to be a picture that you'd have oh, to post. Absolutely. In order. So, again, our, when we have good guests, which we always have anyway, but the hour just flies by, you know? And Amanda, you win. You you win the best guest ever. You played Spice Girls. So any future guest, that's your benchmark. You have to really bring it if you're going to be uh, to beat Amanda as a favorite guest of the show. All right, Nay, I'll give you the. Uh, so we'll say thank you, Amanda, for being on. Thank you for playing Spice Girls. You're very near, and dear to my heart. Yeah. Uh, thanks for shopping at the right savers that day because now we're buddies for life. I know it's crazy. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm glad I finally got to, because we've chatted a little bit, you know, here and there, but I'm so glad I finally got to meet you and talk to you, and you're awesome. Yeah, you so too. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, and, guys. Um, and happy Pinktober to everybody. That's uh, what I like to fondly call uh, October Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so thank you. Nice. All right, now you got the last word, so you take us out here, girlfriend. I think I just, I was meaning to just give my last words, but... <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> No, it's okay. Yeah, I was I was saying uh, thank you, Amanda, <laughs> and uh, happy Pink Tober, everybody. And oh, um, oh shit, that was that was my last words. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we forgot the important part. Next oh, week I'm traveling yes, on Tuesday, Tuesday yes, so I'm and again we have to. Of that. Yeah, we have to change our days next week, Tuesday night. So same times yeah. as normal. Yes. Tuesday night, Maida Webster, good friend of both of ours, is our guest next week. Yeah. Uh, May will talk about a few things, but May has sold a lot of Lucille Balls mm -hmm. item, Lucille Balls items. It's hard to say on eBay, and so she has worked with a famous client to sell their famous stuff, and so she's got some cool stories, and uh, she's a she's a sweetheart of a woman. So I can't wait yeah. to talk to her. Yes, I'm looking forward to Mayda. That's awesome. Okay, now you can say goodbye since I screwed forgot to mention that. <laughs> it's okay. No, I'm glad that you remembered that part though. So, um, okay, good night, everybody. Thank you again, Amanda. You are yeah, thanks for having me. You definitely win the award for our most awesome guest. <laughs> your, yes, your French horn performance was seriously cool. I, I enjoyed it, so thank you. Nice. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs>